<clears throat> okay, that's number three. Let's look at number four. It says, how do you find the domain and range of a circle? So I care about domain and range of a circle. So again, with a circle here, um, I have it's kind of a form, a standard form here, and they wrote this here, right? So this is here. This here is a correct, uh, correct formula for a circle. So a circle has this type of formula, and I'm going to copy this here because this is the the correct guy here. So this equals r squared here. So this here would be an equation of a circle, right? I have x minus uh, h squared plus y minus k squared equals r uh, r squared, right? Where h and k here are the center of the circle, and r here is the radius, right? So when I talk about domain and range, maybe I'll plot this as well. I'll sketch it for you as well if. Um, to help you to show graphically what's happening. But if I have, I have some sort of circle here, and I'm saying that the center point here is zero, zero. So again, I'm assuming that H here is zero, uh, and then uh, H, H, HK is zero, zero, right? So, uh, which means here, this this radius here is simply just R here, right? So this here is good. And what, what we're doing here is we're talking about the domain and range of a circle, right? So the domain and range of a circle basically just means um, domain here depending on wh where does the function lie in terms of the x-axis. So when we talk about domain here, domain would be obviously x has to x e r here because x is a, belongs to a set of real numbers. And what we do is we're going to have some sort of um, limitation here, right? We have this limitation here and this limitation here. So this here, I guess this would be positive r or some radius, and this here would be negative r, right? Uh, so between those two points, my function exists here. So I'm going to say um, between um, negative r um, less than or equal to x less than or equal to positive r. And this here would be my uh, restrictions for my, uh, my, my, my x values here and the exact same thing for my y values. My, my y values are also restricted here, right? As you can see, I can draw a line from here to here and this would be my y value here, but this is also r, and this here is also negative r. So I can say that the range here would then also be, again, y belongs to a set of real numbers, but it's also in between uh, minus r and positive r here. So these two would be my domain or range for uh, for my um, for my circle here. It's always between um, between uh, the radiuses, or plus or minus the radius here. So again, uh, as you can see, the domain or circle is r minus r h plus r which is kind of what this is and r minus k and k plus r here so this here the solution is correct again it's between it's always between um uh, basically the, from the center point towards where r is assuming that i assume that this center here is zero zero but I, what they did was it depending if it's if the function wasn't at zero zero i would have to actually include the h's here so the domain would be, um, you can say here, instead of this here become, it's x is between negative r and r, you can say here it's r minus h and, h and h plus r here, and h plus r here, which is basically um, from here to here and here to here. And same with the range here, we can say also for the range, we can say here it's k, uh, we can say r minus k or k plus r here and this here would be also correct for uh for depending on where the center of the circle is so i assume that it was zero which means it was, it was uh, r here but it's not always the case that uh, our center point is zero here so in terms of my circle here the domain here was correct but for a more broader uh, sense of a circle if it wasn't at zero zero then this you would use the, basically these two guys to figure out the domain range of the circle here so solution here is correct Solution is correct. Great, great analysis here.